In this video, I am going to show you how to convert your WordPress blog post into PDFs. I will also show you how to make them printable and emailable so that your visitors can print them or email them to others. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Sadiq here at Tiku Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to be able to convert your blog post into PDFs, we need to install a plugin. And to do that, I'll go to the back end of my website, go over to plugins, add new. And the search plugins, I search for print friendly. And this is the one we are going to install. It has over 40,000 active installations. Even though it indicates and tested with your version of WordPress, but it works pretty well. I install now. It is installed. I activate. Login activated successfully. Then I go over to settings. In here, I click on print friendly and PDF. Print friendly is GDPR compliant, but only in the pro version of the plugin. But we are not going to use the pro version. Going down. To button style so in here you can choose any of these button styles you want and as you can see in here the plugin doesn't give you only the option to convert to pdf you can also print an email as well so you can go ahead and use any of these button styles you want however if you want to only convert to pdf and not print an email you need to upload your custom button right here by clicking on use your image and select your image but i'm going to go ahead and use any of this button style so that i'll be able to print convert to pdf and also email so for this i'll go ahead and use the first one next is button position and the alignment you can choose whatever alignment you want i'll keep it at right and placement i'll keep it at above content what this means is that this button style i've selected will appear at the right side of the content and also above the content going down to button display where do you want to show your button i don't want to show it on pages i only want to show it on post you can choose to show it on whatever you want be the home page categories pages taxonomy pages and then add redirect to templates i'll only keep it at post if you want it on specific pages and posts you can use this short code right here or better still you can specify the categories you want to display your PDF button. Awesome. I would like to keep it on post. Going down, click on save options. Next, I go over to advanced and then the page header will be at the top of your print file. You can choose to use your website icon or you can choose to use a custom image by selecting your image from here. I'll go ahead and use my website icon. In here, you can also choose to put it on password protected content. So currently it is set to no, you can choose yes, however you need a pro version of the plugin. So I will stick to no. You can also keep track of the plugin in Google Analytics so that you get to know how many people are using the print friendly and PDF feature on your website. Next is click to delete. With this feature you will be able to give your users the opportunity to remove some content of the post they don't want to be included into the PDF file or the print file so if you choose not allow people will not be able to delete so let's keep it at allow for now going down to images the image size i want to keep it at full you can choose whatever size you want then image style i want to keep it at center block so that my images will be shown on its own row and also at the center of the post and finally i'll allow email PDF and also print and in here you can add some CSS code to better enhance the functionality of the plugin but I don't want to do that I click on save options so these are all the settings we need for now I'll just go ahead to the front end and refresh this post so in here I have my button right here I'll go ahead and click on it and this is what you get very clean and neat and this is the delete feature i was talking about so you can hover just in here to delete it so if you don't want users to delete some portions of your post you just use the not allow so if i don't want this particular paragraph i can just hover on it and click on delete it will go off just like that 
can also delete here perfect i can go ahead and print it and it will generate a print version of the post cancel i can convert it to pdf by clicking on it and i can go ahead and download pdf then i click on ok so this is a pdf version of my post exit from here i can also email it to anybody i want to email to so i just go ahead and fill all these details and click on send i don't want to send to anybody now so i'll exit out of here for now then i'll go back to the back end and the advanced scrolling down to click to delete not allow then email i don't want to email and i don't want to also print i'll only allow pdf save options then i go back to the front end refresh then going down even though i've disabled print and email but it will still display on the icon just go ahead and click on it and people will be able to save it as pdf and they will be able to print or send and they don't also have the option to delete any paragraph on my blog post so that's it on how to convert your blog post into pdfs printable and also emailable i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you'll be the first to know keep watching and i'll see you in the next one